our extended stay in Ekron is going really great. So far, we got our vehicle looking absolutely mint, but I think the vacation is gonna stay a little bit extended to make room for a few things. Firstly, some more metalworking XP would be great, as Cooper really wants to make some of the armor he found in that magazine. Also, making a metallic baseball bat would be pretty mint. I mean, you gotta kill in style, right? Alrighty boys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Here we are with your boy Cooper Cross, and I decided to head back because I want to make something a little crazy. We can actually make um Molotov cocktails as well now, which is actually really damn cool. But what I want to make right now. Oh, we need welding rods. Oh crap. I think there's actually some welding rods back at the rural supply store, hopefully. But I, I really want to make some some scrap armor very soon. And I think if we hit up the general store, which we haven't really hit up, it's going to be up a little bit ahead. We might be able to get some scissors on us. So I'm very excited about that. Anyways, I'm going to go drop off this beautiful double barrel and we will be on our merry way. Also, I kind of want to go check out the um farming supply store because I definitely think there were some welding rods there. But right now, let's get our weapons out already. Okay, I think we're good. We don't have much on us. We should probably drop off this M1911. Do I have anything for it? I don't think I do. Let's go check actually what I got in terms of just storage. <laughs> we honestly are running out like we are just neck and neck right now when it comes to storage, but that's okay. So we got... How much ammo? We got a 45. We actually don't have any 45 whatsoever, it seems like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're really lacking in. Got a savage. I'm definitely gonna shoot some zombies very soon. We need to go through some ammo, but yeah, not looking too good. We got some scrap stuff. All right, let's uh, let's get going. I'm gonna go head up north now. You know, I gotta say, I really cleared this place out. Also, one of you guys said that there's actually a pair of scissors in one of these dead zombies. I don't know if that's true, but I definitely want to go see and find out. Uh, do you have scissors? Scissors, please? Uh, I think it might be around here. Scissors? Hey, you were right! Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. We're gonna be make- we're gonna be able to make the scrap armor today! Oh man, I'm so excited! But anyways, before that happens, I do want to go check out the- Uh, is this too far up? No, I don't think it is. You know, there's a few, like, idiots lingering here, but that's okay. There is a medical store, but honestly, I feel like if I- if I'm at the point where I need medical attention, I'm already dead. So we're going to ignore that while I just cleave through these zombies like nothing. Oh, as I say that, I completely whiff that. That's okay, though. Because I'm ready to take these bastards on. There has to be some welding rods up here. There's got to be some. I, or maybe there might be some welding rods at the hardware store as well. We have a lot to actually explore. So I'm not too worried, to be honest. Yeah, nothing too crazy. It'd be cool if you could actually harvest shoes for leather as well. Like, yeah, definitely should be able to harvest shoes for leather. Oh, man. Gotta say, I really get in there and I just demolish these idiots. Okay. It's always good to just do, like, little one-over of the whole area. Probably nothing, anything left, actually. But, you never know. And that's why you gotta make sure. Definitely should just remember. <laughs> but, hey. That, that takes the fun out of it, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's nothing good here. I'm actually gonna yoink this extra hand crossy. It only weighs, like, yeah, almost, like, less than a pound, so... It's pretty. it's a pretty easy yoink, in my opinion. So... Oh, look at that little bad boy down over there. Is that a moving truck? Oh. Hold on. We could actually get lucky and maybe find a trailer pretty soon. That would be... very nice, actually. Yeah, we got actually a lot to explore. Oh, oh hey. There's an idiot in here. There's also a library. Uh, what? Why don't I just, just come outside real quick? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why I try sometimes, you know? I don't hear anyone else, but we gotta be a little bit cautious, because I am hearing some commotion around here. Hello? Sir, I hear you at the door. I'm gonna have to let you out there. There we go. Okay, we're gonna run out. Stay frosty, boys. What is this place even? That's that's a real question that I'm asking right now. Hey. Oh. Good night. Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I love these short crossbow bolts so much. It is just actually really damn fun to shoot, you know? 
Okay, we could actually get lucky with some stuff here, so... You ought to be cautious. You ought to be ready. I should honestly have my axe out, or my hatchet. Yeah, let's equip that. Okay, I'm feeling confident. Real confident. Nothing bad can go wrong. That does not really make a lot of sense, but I feel like half the things I say don't really make a lot of sense, so that's okay. Okay, that's yeah, not that bad. Got a rubber band, no magazines, sadly. Magazines are honestly, wh th that's my treasure, you know? That's what I'd really want to see right about now is a beautiful magazine. An eraser. Yeah, we could go and get something like quarter, I mean, a tenth of a pound or kilogram. This game uses kilograms, I keep on forgetting about that. Not American units. Huh, it's like an office, I think it is. Definitely not gonna find anything useful in it then. I already have like some water coolers on me, so I'm not too worried about the whole water situation. Especially since I didn't take high thirst. Honestly, that is such a... Oh, the herbalist. Nice. I'll read that up real quick. <laughs> Hell yeah, I will. Okay. I think that's gonna be it. Here. Cool. Awesome. Kinda worth it. You know, we got some stuff here. Got some stuff chilling around. Okay, let's go check out the shed in the back. That's honestly like why I was even here in the first place. Honestly, I should just be making a beeline for the uh, market. So let's assemble some stuff. Get that all. We're going in the neighbor of the hoods. It's also a big pond here. Also a church nearby. We could find probably something good, to be honest. There we go. Dismantle this. Always got to be on the grind, you know? I like to wake up and just immediately get on the grindstone. Start going for broke. Can I wear a hat with my um, welder mask? Good question, actually. Hat with welder mask. I'll dismantle that as well. Yoinky. And no, we can't. We have to replace it. Okay. That's fine. So it seems like we're going to actually have to disassemble this. I just want to make sure no idiots come up on me while I'm doing this. Might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, this one actually requires a propane torch. Fancy. Very fancy. I'll, I'll yoink the metal sheet as well. Always useful to have one of them bad boys. Oh, I definitely hear an idiot coming in after me. We'll put away our hunting knife for right now. Oh, uh, there's just berries chilling here? What the hell? Huh. I'm not gonna eat that. I... <laughs> that'd be one bad way to go out, to be honest. Imagine, like, I just eat some random berries I find, and it's just like, Oh, yeah! You know those berries that you ate? It's gonna kill you! And then I just die horribly. That would not be a good way to go out, but what, why is there just a random berry container there? The hell? Uh, whatever, I'm not one to... Ooh, propane tank. Fishing net trap. I mean, the propane tank is actually really nice because I am going to be doing a lot of metal work in here. Siggies? Oh, come on. Come on. You know you know who I am? Of course I'm taking the Siggies. Radio, fishing net traps. We're going to need to make some massive room for the propane tank, but I feel like it'll be worth it. Damn, there's a lot here. Uh, push vehicle. None of these have gas in them, but we can always just... Check him. I do like this van, though. Honestly. Oh, Chevalier Cosmos. A razor. Eh, nothing in it. I mean, like, I'm, 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 I'm dedicated to my baby. My, my beautiful, beautiful baby. So I'm not going to be taking this. Also, Bender. What are you doing here, man? <laughs> A little bit weird, but whatever. I respect his grind. The Ponzu. Knox Country Map. I'll yoink that as well. Can't believe we just we just have an entire propane tank just like chilling inside my thing real quick. That's pretty funny. Eh, nothing too good. Goodbye. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. I really want to make a metal bat, so hopefully we can find some very soon. It's almost 510, so it's about time we get the hell out of here. Go siphon out some gas. Probably not too much left in here. Yeah. Let's see how much do we get out of that whole thing? Not much, but hey, that'll probably keep us going to like the next, uh, you know, point of interest. Good night, man. Come on. Yo, you got a lighter on you, though? No, no lighters. Damn. Now, what is this place? Okay, that's the general store that I wanted to go to. What is this? I mean, if it's a post office or something along those lines, I will be happy entering here. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about sprinters, so I can play it a little bit more, uh, you know. I mean, I can play it a little bit more cautious. I mean, I, I always try and play it cautious. But, like, I don't have to worry about, you know, someone coming up behind me and be like, Ah ha ha, I'm gonna take a bite out of your neck in, like, five seconds, because closing the, closing the distance with sprinters is honestly terrifying. Also, another series that I plan on doing after this one is a 
daytime inactive zombie population to where they go into like a hibernation mode at night. Basically, the zombies sleep. I think that'd be really fun because during the night would actually be when things are safe, you know? So like you'd have to like kind of worry a little bit about that. Come on. You really don't want, want to make me back up even more, especially when there's zombies on that back door. Okay. Well, let's make sure to shut that door, to be honest. I don't want any idiots coming through. What is this place? Like a little diner area? I think I think it's a diner. Ah, it is. Okay. Nice family hometown restaurant. I do like these vibes. You got anything good? Oh, walkie talkie premium. Uh, yeah, you like that? There we go. I have so much just random crap chilling here. <laughs> Pen, black, yada yada, empty pencils. Empty pencils? Why would a pencil be empty? Kind of dumb. <laughs> Beer! That's what I like to see. Always gotta make room for the brewskis. Also, the cheese is still good. So is the tofu. I'll have the cheese. Delicious. Cheese never goes bad, it seems. Actually, does it? I don't know. I'm not gonna have the tofu, though. I'm, I was never a big fan of tofu, so I'm gonna ignore that while I still can. Hey, lady! Wow, you're an idiot. I have to tell you how much of an idiot you are. Okay, let's go have a quick little smoke break now. I think we deserve it. <laughs> yeah, we definitely deserve a nice little smoky. No, no, don't drop it. Don't drop the ciggies. There we go. Yeah, just have a quick little smoke. Always gotta be prepared. Okay, we're looking good. It's 620, so we're probably gonna need to rest up for a little bit. Though so we have one more area on our list here. I would like to actually use up the rest of this condition on the hatchet, because I don't really want to keep this thing around for prolonged periods of time. Ah, oh, damn them. One shots are juicy, though. I can't wait till I can use a machete. Yo, is that a cloud jacket in there? By any means necessary. I'm not gonna take it because, you know, spell the death of my character. But it's nice that you got it. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, zombies are starting to flood in now. Here, yep. Take out his knees. You, sir, have lost kneecap privileges. Okay. Whoop. Okay, we whiffed that completely. We whiffed that. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the whiffs. Honestly, knowing the range of your weapon is pretty damn crucial to your survival. So, it's always good to stay on top of that. There we go. Good night. Sleep tight. Peanut butter, can of oats, coffee. Coffee's pretty good, but it also weighs a pound. Uh, we'll ignore it for now. Let's see what else we got in here. Probably get some scissors out of this whole bad boy as well. Another value tech radio. Don't mind if I do. Siggies. Siggies are always good. I like cigarettes. I mean, not in real life. I've actually never had any addictive, addic, addictive substances in real life. So I can't really, you know, talk about it on that and how epic they are in real life. But in Zomboid, they're pretty cool. Honestly, I see it as a bit of a positive trait. You can find so many cigarettes, and if one lasts you a day and you find like 200, you're set for the basically the rest of your character, because your character probably won't last that long, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'll have some canned tuna right now as well. Gotta stay on top of the ball game. Can opener, saucepan. Oh, dude. <laughs> Peanut butter for days, man. Holy hell, this is some good stuff. Honestly, leveling so much off of this. The dog food? Uh, I mean, the canned food is cool and all, but like, it also weighs a lot. I'd much rather just take like stuff like peanut butter and all that jazz instead of, you know, the more... I like the dense foods. Dense but lightweight. Chips are one. Peanut butter is definitely one. You know, stuff like that to where I can pack it nice, easy, and not have too much space taken up. Though I, I'm actually going to keep some coffee on me. This is like, um, this is like a five hour energy, you know? Like, if I really need to pick me up, I can just open up that bad boy and get going. Juice box. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free juice box? I'm also going to probably leave the eggs. I don't really see myself cooking. To be honest, I'm just a loot goblin, and I'll always be a loot goblin. The only canned food that I think is worth it is a corned beef. And that's because it's just so dense. Literally, like, the densest thing known to man. Okay, I'm definitely hearing some zombies in the back here, so... Just take it easy. Don't want to get too far ahead of myself and catch an early death. Okay, no one's here. Shut everything. And carrots, kettle, soup, corn. Soup is actually pretty good. I'll eat that right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just eating as much as I can right now. The tin cans, actually, I think we could use. 
Tea bags are also pretty useful. It's like the same thing as coffee. You can just eat it raw. And, you know, who's there to really blame you? The, the oats are definitely the best thing in the world, though. So dang nice. Get all the peanut butter. Oh, my. Let's get some bolts, to be honest. How much more room? Okay, we got a little bit of room left. Peanut butter and oats for days. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Um, you know, I'll, I'll yoink. Oh, another hand crossy. I mean, I'll yoink it. <laughs> they weigh so little. It's like, honestly, why wouldn't you take one? Okay, let's grab some chili. Chili dogs are pretty awesome. All right, we're looking good. I do hear an idiot in the back in this area, so we should be a little bit cautious when it comes to that. This doesn't have any gas in it. Is the trunk unlocked, though? Come on. Hey, empty gas can. Doink it. Alrighty, let's go head up over towards the uh, gas station now. There's like a few hundred zombies in the area, but it's nothing our hand crossy can't handle. Hello. Hand crossbow is honestly the best thing. It's so good! It's it's literally scrumptious. Like, we can literally, like, strafe these zombies with just a hand crossbow. Honestly, insane. Just the amount of power that we have just acquired from the crossbow mod. By itself, even. <laughs> okay, give me this real quick. I want to rip this up. Yeah, there we go. Make sure no one's coming up around me while I'm doing this. The best thing about having ranged weapons like this is that we don't even need to worry about uh, exhaustion, you know? So that's pretty damn cool. Hello. Goodbye. Oh. Like, literally, like, we can reload faster than they can get off their stun. So it's so damn cool. Okay. Welding rods. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hey, that's, 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 that's what I'm looking for. Okay, we're going to be able to make the weapon of our dreams now. I just want to make sure there's nothing else in here, because I don't really want to miss anything. Come on, come on, come on, give me something good. E wielding rods. Do you have a wielding rods? Alrighty, well, that seems like there. that's everything there is to be had here. We got, um, metal sheets. Uh, I think it's about time we get the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all we need are two small metal sheets and a metal pipe. Oh, okay. We can get that pretty quickly. All we need to do is, um, hit up a quick little bathroom. Is there a bathroom here? There has to be a bathroom here, right? No, no bathrooms? Damn. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and just head down over... Yeah, we'll just head back, to be honest. We got everything we need. It's 9 p.m., so we're probably gonna need to sleep very, 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 very soon, so... Yeah, I'd say this is definitely one of the better times to be alive, even. <laughs> Now we just gotta disassemble some stuff, get some more metal sheets in our bag, and we'll be golden. Also gotta do a little bit more inventory management because your boy's kinda out of, uh, space in his car. I'm sure we'll figure it out, though. We always do. Hey, just before we leave, I do wanna pay a little visit here. Come on. Come on, give me a pipe. Ah, damn, no pipes. <laughs> Wait, can we disassemble this? I think we could, and we'd get the same thing, but... Uh, I don't have really anything for that, sadly. Okay, well, there should be a bathroom back at the bar, hopefully. I sure hope a bar has a bathroom, else that'd just be bad etiquette. Or even the, um, the library here. Also, we have the normal house as well, so... There's a lot of locations for there to be, uh, materials. But I think this is gonna be our last episode here. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Sadly. Okay, we got a couple metal shelves here. Yeah. <laughs> we got the man pad. Give me a pipe. Come on. I know it's a 21% chance. Damn. We're really busting my balls right now. Okay. We'll go head over towards the house then. Move this beautiful broken glass. Let me in, please. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's it at? You know you want to give it to me. Metal pipe, here we come. <laughs> one of these times, you will get one. It might not be today, but it will be sometime. Damn. RNG is really screwing us over. Well, I think I'm gonna go to sleep right now anyways. It's kind of getting late. After I finish the kitchen, there's still one more sink left. There's no, when there's a will, there's a way. So, come on. Give it to me. Damn! Okay, I guess you're just gonna go to sleep. It's 11 o'clock. We definitely deserve it. Oh, and we actually woke up. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. pretty good feeling. Uh, we also have to shave our beard again. Damn, 12 days, one hour, not too bad. I will take it, actually. 
And I just realized we can't really fill up our water as well. Damn. How hard is it to get a single metal pipe in this world? I just want I just want an aluminum bat. It's all I want in life right now. So if you could give it to me, that would be pretty cool game. You, okay, there's actually some idiots around here. And someone outside definitely heard me, so let's go take them out. This is kind of where I started leading away the zombie hordes, so we gotta be a little bit more cautious when it comes to that. So, I don't know, just gotta be on my A game. I'm <laughs> like, not that I'm always on my A game. Also, I'm gonna drop the hatchet. It's pretty bad condition now, so don't really need it in my life. Okay, let's go Jimmy this open, please. Come on, buddy. You got this. One step. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna go through the back door. Oh, yeah. It's actually a park ranger in the back of this place. So let's just remove the broken glass. Honestly, I'm gonna pull out my hammer for this one. I'm gonna go in melee style. Because I gotta shove things away, and the pistol whip is the worst shove in the game. Honestly, you could die so quickly because of it. And bonk to the head. <laughs> hammer is the number one uh, murdered weapon. So it's nice that we, you know, stay true to that tradition. Anything in the shelf? No. I'm not, I'm not really looking for anything other than metal pipes here. Pepper gun case. Okay, a little bit crazy, a little bit wacky. Free water bottle. Don't mind if I do. I'll drop my previous one for that. Empty mug, spoon. Okay. Now it's the time for uh for winning. This place is pretty dang cleared out. Hey, there's my metal pipe. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Now I'm gonna be able to make my best friend. Honestly, I should probably keep a couple metal pipes on me just for the hell of it. So if we could get some more. That would be pretty damn cool. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. So, antidepressants. <laughs> Don't really need those. Okay, let's go disassemble these real quick. Hey, what? Why is it this house at all? <laughs> what does this look? Okay, we get two metal pipes. I'm not actually complaining. Uh, I feel like if I were to complain, the game would screw me over in some unfeasible way. So, yeah. We're good. We're golden. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go head back and uh, reap the rewards. Can't wait to make a metal bat. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool, man. See you later, dude. <laughs> Ooh, annotated map. Um, uh, March Ridge. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I'm never going to March Ridge. It, I would rather die than go to March Ridge, and I probably will die before that actually happens. So, I think we got everything we'd ever need. I kind of want to get some more materials before we actually go do our metalworking thing. This is going to be my last day, so might as well uh, disassemble as much as we can, right? Each one of these washing machines is just nothing but a stepping stone for me to improve my ability. There we go, we actually got quite a bit here. Normal scrap metal, metal sheets, pretty good stuff to be honest. We're going to be a little bit overweight, but that's alright. I want to see what I can exactly make with all these. There we go. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, I think that's good enough. We have quite a bit to work with. We can actually make a scrap vest right now. Scrap vest, scrap kilt. Why can't we make boots? Oh, we need actual boots for that. Okay. Scrap helmet, scrap pads. So in order to get this helmet and pads, we're going to need to continue leveling up a little bit more. Okay, that ain't bad. Uh, what's our metal working looking like right now? Almost there, actually. Yeah, let's continue to just disassemble everything, then. Oh, hell yeah. It's also raining again. It rains so often, to be honest. Honestly, I kind of want... I want... Oh, I should probably close that door. That's, um, pretty bad etiquette for you, boy. <laughs> Come on. We're almost there. Metalworking level two. We did read the book, so it does make sense in why we are absolutely power leveling this whole thing. Come on. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me! What level are we at? We're almost there. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's head back to uh, the library, though, so we can, you know, drop off some of this junk. You know, it's been a long time coming, but I think it's about time we make some good stuff here. So, first things first, I should probably drop some of this junk in here. Um, crowbar, to be honest? Don't really need it. It's a nice weapon to have. Sledgehammer, sorry, I'm gonna have to drop you off as well. Trowel, don't really need it. Carpentry for beginners. Eh, we're already like, we can just level up by just sheer brute force. Rama noodles, get the heck out of here. Rope. I keep the varsity jacket though. Varsity jacket is pretty nice. Okay, there we go. Should make enough room for our beautiful propane tank. That's really all that I care about. There we go. Okay, let's make a quick metal bat. We could also, we could actually make two. 1.5. Yeah, we'll make two. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, we will. Bam, bam. Okay, this is gonna be our new best friend. This metal bat right here. Two and a half pounds of pure brute force. Look at that! Look at how smooth it is! Hell yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's go drop off the other metal bat in here. Don't really need it right now, so... Yeah, we're looking good. Now let's make a quick scrap vest. Let's see what else we can make. Uh, we honestly might need some more materials. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. Okay, let's go make a scrap vest real quick, though. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at us hammer away. It's actually taken quite a while. Probably should have done it indoors. But at the very least, we won't get bored. Scrap vest! Bite doll. <laughs> Protects the chest reliably. That's what I like to see. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. It makes me look like an absolute champion. Okay, what else do we need right now? We need more small metal sheets. Honestly, don't have enough of those. We have normal metal sheets, but we don't have any small metal sheets. Alrighty, we're looking good. I'll keep the strips on me and also keep the uh, metal sheets. Do I really need them right now for anything? Uh, I guess we need it for the scrap helmet. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to leave this place until I get a full set of scrap armor. <laughs> I'm going to make this like a personal like goal for me now. Like, it's just such a cool thing, you know? Like, who doesn't want that? Let's drop off a couple of these uh, hand crossies. Okay, so we are almost completely out of room, which is pretty sad. We really don't have much left. Uh, how many bolts? Three. We'll keep those up here. Keep one on us. Honestly, we have so much junk just chilling in here. We gotta do, we gotta, we gotta make some stashes, I think. Maybe a stash would be nice, actually. Just a nice little, like, fallback area, because we got, honestly, so much food. So many, so much supplies. I think I'm gonna actually make the stash at the gas station. I might honestly head over there right now in our nice little vehicle here. Go try out our baseball bat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am feeling it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> okay. Should be a pretty nice drive. I cleared out the area pretty reliably, so we don't really have to worry about anything like that. I'm actually very happy with how far our character has progressed so far. I would like to get some pads going, so... Disassembling some more stuff is gonna be in the vibes. Also, this, uh, this... This car controls like a dream. Can I just say that, like, here and now? It's so nice. Okay. This is gonna be, uh, home for a little bit. Definitely attracted some zombies, but that's alright in my opinion. Hey, uh, you like metal bats. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Ah, oh, damn, it doesn't make the ping sound, which is pretty sad. It is what it is, though. Okay, lots of zombies coming in. Can't get too cocky right now. You know, that's that's how you die. Oh, give him a good old boinky on the head. Hey, that's a school bag. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get some distance. Yeah, we definitely attracted quite a few idiots here. There we go. Always gotta maintain, um, you know. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time we pull out the crossy. Yeah, should be no problems. Just a few zombies, you know, chilling. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that, that could have ended badly right there. Definitely don't want that to happen. Ah, damn. These zombies are actually taking quite a bit here. I think our main problem is that we need some beta blockers. <laughs> there we go. Yep, nothing like some good old fashioned beta blockers to keep you going. It's quite a few zombies to be honest. Get some distance, turn around, boink. Oh yeah, now we're on a roll. The only problem is like, you can go through uh, ammo pretty quick, you know? So that's a bit of a problem. I'm trying to stay away, like stay as much of a, at a distance as possible with these zombies. Because they will screw you up. Really gotta watch out for that. There we go. Okay, I think it's safe to pull out the bat now. <laughs> Damn! I feel powerful. Okay. Also, I just realized I left all my metal sheets back at... Uh... Uh... It's just pain. Just pain. Pain in general. Just... Shooting pain. I don't know. Pain. Just pain. Pain, pain, pain. Varsity jacket looking pretty good. Nothing in the school bag. Okay. Oh, that was um, it for zombies for right now. Let's go, uh, see what we don't exactly need. Honestly, I might take away, like, half of the food. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave, like, the more, like, the less dense. I mean, the, the oats are just really all that I need right now. 
couple more idiots coming in here. Take them out the old baseball Rooney. <laughs> Gotta love the metal baseball bat. I'm, I just, I'm such a big fan of it. Like, who doesn't love a good old fashioned slugger? And not even just a normal slugger, the good kind, you know what I mean? Yeah, we definitely need to clear some of this out. I should probably leave some gas here. Ah, no, actually, three, three is uh, pretty good, I'd say. No, don't, don't, bip, 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 why is it doing this? There we go, okay, that's a lot better. Yeah, we'll go drop off some stuff here. Okay, so I got a nice little bag of stuff that I'd actually like to take over. Also, I'm going to be leaving this... Yeah, this Ruger I don't really need right now. I'll keep the Savage model, but... Yeah, okay, things are looking alright. We got a little bit of room in our seats, so it's not that big of a deal. Machete... I mean, I would like to keep some of these crossies. Guess we don't really need... Hello? Oh, hello there. Interrupting me on such fine weather. Huh. Oh, uh, I guess you learned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's actually looking pretty good. I mean, there's just so much just stuff here. I, I don't really need the shovel right now. Make sure no one's coming up behind me. I, I see you over there. I see you. Don't think I don't. I wish I could actually sort by weight. That would be a lot more helpful. I mean, I think a lot of it is from the gas and propane tank. You know what? Should I leave the propane tank here? Nah. Uh, no, I should probably leave that with me, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what the oats to drop right now. We'll take the, actually, the extra cans of oats. Bobby pin, and don't really need that. We don't really need an extra saw here. You know, small stuff like this is, like, stuff you can really take advantage of and kind of clean up a wee bit, you know? Definitely don't need all the salt. Twine, rope, definitely don't need this much nails. Take everything except for a single box. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, let's go drop off everything in a nice little loot cache. Definitely gonna stay here for the rest of the night. Yeah, we also got a lot to disassemble today. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm probably never gonna use these popsicle fridges. So, hey, that's a level up. And that allows us to make scrap helmet, scrap kilt. Nice. And we can't make scrap boots just yet, sadly. We also need paint, actually. I guess next time we uh, head up over there. Scrap pads would also be pretty nice. Okay. Make a kilt. There we go. We're gonna make- we're gonna be able to make this today. Today. We honestly might need some- Oh, damn. I forgot about all the leather strips I had. How much more do we got? Please tell me we have some. No, we're running pretty low. This is gonna be such a long episode. I honestly might just have to end it here. But, like, we got our kilt now. We're starting to look like real apocalypse badasses. Like, look at us! Wait, where's my kilt? Huh. I don't really see a difference between having a kilt and not having a kilt. Whatever, we have it anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Probably, like, hidden by, like, all the crap I have on here. Probably by, like, my, um, jeans, to be honest. Like, look at their protection values. It's actually looking really damn good. So, I guess we'll complete the scrap armor by next episode, sadly. So, let's go drop off everything, and I think I'm gonna end it here. Pretty good episode. Definitely still have a lot more to go through. A lot more to disassemble. But I definitely want to get a full set of scrap armor by the time I'm done with it. So, yeah. If you guys like this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a damn good day. Peace out.